Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. This part's a little weird, uh, but I guess not. I mean, <laughs> like, the big thing here is that um, Alfred Ashford really kept his stuff secret. I mean, it remind, it's obviously a lot like Resident Evil 1. Um, oh, here's the most important item in the game. You can uh, carry more uh, items. So now we can carry two more? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. But he, there are certain areas of this this uh, island he didn't want anyone to have access to, so he made these really elaborate puzzles. Uh, but you also find out some of this island is uses um, George Trevor's drawings and designs. Uh, so George Trevor, obviously being the, the person who designed the the mansion for Oswald E. Spencer, his designs were used for other things. Uh, for example, they were used for some things on this island, uh, some things in the police department in Resident Evil 2, I believe. Um, and then also, uh, the Queen Zenobia and her sister ships from the Resident Evil Revelations franchise. And then obviously Oswell's, the Spencer's Mansion from Resident Evil 5 Lost in Nightmares. we have left one <laughs> all right well uh those things aren't very powerful when you combine them with the exploding uh ones though they become more powerful so yeah the reason why alfred keeps this place top secret is because it's, it's essentially his escape uh or one of two of his potential escapes there's a plane here he can right out on, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be honest with you. This area I do not remember, like, hardly at all. So I was like, what do I do here? That's also a minor detail that you probably missed, but one that I like. You'll see it again when I ride the elevator back down. Um, is the fact that you, when you get on an elevator, if you're facing one way and act, you know, and say like, "All right, I'll, you know, go up," it will. When you get to the top, it'll um, reset you to face the the way you need to walk. Uh oh, I don't think I. No. I forgot how precise you gotta be. Just follow the shadow. There we go. So see, I'm facing the wall, but then when you get to the bottom, you're facing straight ahead. I like that they did that. It's a little thing, but it's much appreciated. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck.
Oh, shoot. Dang it, that's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, damn it. It's, uh, we might be in danger. No, still? Well, we're gonna use it anyway. Oof. No, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I can't remember what this is for. Uh, oh, right. That, that, okay. Does it work up here? I can't, I can't remember. Let's try it real quick. Because there's a bridge up here, but I can't remember if it's like you have to use a key card to operate it. The control lever is missing. Okay, yeah. Of course. Because we need to lift that in order to take off with the plane, obviously. So Something for later. Oh, this mother... Yeah. Can I get those arrows now, bud? The shotgun shells I'll leave for now. Um... So that creature, I can't remember what it's called in this game, but in Resident Evil 3 it was, there was a version of it called the Gravedigger. And I think they literally, because obviously this game was in development first, before Resident Evil 3, I think they were like, hey, let's, let's add that worm into, <laughs> into, the, into the other game. Um, let's go in here and get those exploding arrows, and I'll run back in the the other room and get all the other arrows. Look at all this ammo they give you. That's how you know you're in trouble. I, th I think I said that in other games, but it's like, for sure. Like, we're screwed. go. We got the hemostatic medicine. But uh, thanks for being here. If you're watching later on YouTube, appreciate it. We're about to get into some heavy crap, so I figured this would be a good time to save and end that last episode. I'm gonna put the explosive, explosive, uh, explosive rounds. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting tired. Oh no! <laughs> Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. Creep. Oh man, the heartbeat. <laughs> Classic Resident Evil. Yeah, you would think that with his, you know, his island was attacked already, and all the forces and the soldiers that are on there, and like, because there's only like a skeleton crew of people on here, on this island. Um, which again, I don't want to spoil if you've never seen it or played this before, uh, but we'll get into it. Um, you'll, you'll find out who soon enough is attacking this island. Oh, look at that. Man, I'm glad we... 
Man, I'm glad we picked those up. I mean, we that we left inventory sp space. Oh, and there's ammo for it. Sweet. Oh, crap. So here's that creature that killed that scientist in the lab. This is called the Bandersnatch. And they look creepy as hell. Oh, shoot. Deadeye, what's up, dude? I saw you, uh, I saw you streaming uh, a little bit ago. And I was going to pop in to say hi, but I was so excited that I actually got the audio to work on this that I was like, oh, I want to... I want to get right into it. Um, so how are you, dude? Welcome, welcome to the stream. It's all good, dude. Hey, you're all good, dude. Oh! <laughs> the Matrix! Steve ain't so bad. A lot of people hate this character. I'll agree. His voice gets gets a little annoying, but uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's he's good. definitely he's definitely a good partner for Claire as far as um, Don't worry, Claire. Your you know, having her back. Armor is here. You wish, but thanks for the help. See, this is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Hey, what's up? Holy cow, there's like 10 people in here. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Seek and Destroy stream. You know the deal. This is my first playthrough on my Twitch channel, not only with the PS4, which I just got for my birthday recently, but also of this game. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, I love this game. It's definitely in my top three Resident Evil games. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Oh. Huh? Hey. Shooting exactly. blanks. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back. <laughs> She's wearing like You're boots. You're heavier than you look. Hurry up. And there's a little hint at ammo on the other side, exploding um, rounds Happy for the. Uh, crossbow so this game's really good about angles like using them to what? help move the narrative but also give you hints at like now hey if you're paying attention you can find some cool stuff he can join you in your descent into death. dude thanks for raiding me with the party dude everyone who came over from dead eye stream thank you so much for being here hopefully you guys enjoy the show i'm sorry i don't have a camera like i said it's a new ps4 so i haven't uh been able to afford one just yet okay let's do it Wait here, Claire. But if you want to know what my face looks like, just imagine a big, goofy smile. Because <laughs> that's what I have playing this game. Alright, so I think we get to play a little bit as Steve? Oh, come on. Uh, even with, see, I think auto lock kind of doesn't really help benefit you in this game that much. Um, I would say auto lock probably stifles you a bit. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Who hurt you, Steve? People? <laughs> Who hurt you? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Dude, there's monsters here. You gonna waste all those bullets? Steve. Hey, 
never mind. I think Steve's Let's like he's going. young. Like I, I want to say he's like 17 or 18. So he's just like just like a, a troubled kid kind of. But I think that he's here because his dad or mom betrayed the Umbrella Corporation. I think we're gonna find that out. I think it was his dad. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty heartbreaking stuff. Okay. I guess we'll just follow Steve. We need that other card reader, though, so we can unlock all those rooms downstairs, because if we do, it opens up more stuff for, uh, for Chris later when we play as Chris Redfield. Oh, snap. Claire, are you okay? Steve, behind you! No. Uh oh. What's wrong, Steve? Shoot him! Wait! I. I can't! No! Steve! So again, it's keeping with the theme of this game, which is family. Um. About to get a heartbreaking moment here. Ooh. Father! Ah! Dude, thank God his aim's good, because that was really close. Could have gone over and like kicked his dad in the head. <laughs> <laughs> like, got him off clear first. Time for an origin story. Father. Hit us, Steve. Father. Drop that fat origin beat. Father. That's right. The sound of tears. <laughs> Dad. I used to work for Umbrella. Tried to steal information, intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed. And we were sent here. Yes, yeah, so that's why he doesn't oh, think Steve. people are reliable because his his dad is like a. He was a fool to do something so like a fuck up. So stupid. His dad pretty much has the same backstory as Wesker, almost, because Wesker in the first one, that's what he was doing, was taking samples of all the um, T-Virus creatures, taking their combat data, and he was going to sell it to a new company. And that's also Spence from Resident Evil the movie. Uh, he was doing the same thing. All right. How many bullets this is going to take, but we're going to... Oh shoot! I thought it was going to swallow me in one hit. I was like, oh no, we're done.
I honestly didn't think we would pull that off with just crossbows. I thought he was a lot stronger than that. Let me go check this out. What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. Lockpick. Yeah, there we go, sweet. I think this area literally exists so we can get those um, other items in the metal detector room up here. Jesus. Are we dead? No, we're gonna be, though. Dang it. Whew. Holy crap. So, what's that? Oh, it's the eyeball. Does the... So he died. Did he kill himself? And then, like, just put, like... Put that in his lab coat? Like, the eye in his lab coat? Oh, man. I don't want to go down here. Isn't there something down here that can kill you in, like, one... Go? Off me, combat. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that gun is going to make us go through bullets like crazy. Let's turn it to manual for future use.
Is this right? Am I supposed to just turn it towards the... Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness instinct took over. I was like, wait, I feel like I maybe do know this puzzle. Wow, we really did have to come over here. I remember that thing now. That's for a piano. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Whisper? It seems there's not much explaining to do there. <laughs> I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. <laughs> His now laugh. The cat <laughs> this nice surprise. You're ever so caring. Boy. I did know the Bandersnatch is a sure. character from Alice in Wonderland. Thank you for being Actually. Such good bait. Um, I don't know what good reference. You to, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. What are you gonna do to him? Ooh. Rester needs to chill out. <laughs> Ooh. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> so that scene right there was added into the PlayStation 2 version. That was not from the Dreamcast. Um in the Dreamcast version, she just walks into the house, and she never meets Wesker here on this island. Uh, so they figured when they made Code Veronica X, they were like, "Oh, you know what? We can add, we can add stuff, um, add some extra scenes." And the whole point of doing Code Veronica X was to add like ten minutes more of Wesker. So that's what they do. They added a scene there, and then they add a scene later towards the ending um, of the game. Left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, and then right, 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 okay. Creepy children picking the wings off flies and letting ants eat them. But that is like a, besides it being creepy and showing that they might have a kind of a grossly ancestral relationship, um, there is, a, there's a nod there with the bugs to something we're going to see near the end of the game, so it is foreshadowing. Alright, let me go figure out the password. Left. And right. Okay, so one, then left, one nine, one nine seven, one nine seven one. All right, one nine seven one. Oh yes, the very creepy song that plays. Uh, something about a queen and king. Um, can I remember? I don't remember how it goes. 
There once was a brave but naive king, or something like that, who wed a very nasty queen. I think the king was loved, but the queen was feared. And the reason I know most of those lyrics is because I have the soundtrack to this game. <laughs> so now it's time to meet the other Ashford, or so we think. Um, definitely some twists in the storyline, for sure. There you go. Yeah, and there are places this place was, you know, bombed and attacked by Wesker and his men, who are called the um, UBC or something like that. We've talked about them before. They're a special unit uh, that he hired with the money he made from selling um, the T-Virus combat data samples he got in the first game. So, like, he went off, sold them, and built his own little private army to be hired as a freelancer to go collect more samples of different viruses that Umbrella made. So he was the one... Oh, Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? Hmm. What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Let us go, brother. Um... Yeah, so he, so Wesker was the one who hired Ada Wong in Resident Evil 2 to um, get a sample of the G-Virus. So he had that, and he was able to bring that to his new company. Um, then he also was the one who uh, is coming here to this island to get the T-Veronica virus. Uh, as we're going to learn, there's a sample somewhere here. It hasn't been shown or revealed itself yet, but we will get to it. Um Everything else right now is just T-Virus infected that we've seen. The Bandersnatch is a T-Virus monster, and the um, zombies, and the big worm creature. All of those, so far, are just T-Virus monsters. A key. This will help us unlock doors back at that... Other building. Hole in the ceiling has been sealed. Okay. Okay, hey, look, a little gambling hall and everything. Of course, there's a piano because it's Resident Evil. <laughs> Kingmaker. Right, we found our first spider. We got some herb over here. What a herb! What you doing, herb? Just hanging out, huh? No big deal. Oh, the other blue crest. Oh, that's right. So they give you a choice, like where you want to use it. Um. guess? I don't know. Yeah, I forgot that there's two blue crests. Alright, so we gotta we gotta head back. Oh, so here we go. Hunk's report. Let's read this real quick. Uh, attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 1632 hours, I arrived success successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with the large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed. Condition green, in ordinance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? 
I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is essentially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we assign similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300 hours. Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Hawk, the USFU. Um, so the... I, I don't know if we can say... I don't want to spoil it. Um, but there is a... There is... We know what's in the, the chamber that he transported. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll learn it as we get towards the end of the game. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?